This is June 2012 and we're going to be looking at question 3. So this is a molar enthalpy question and the first thing you need to do um, is use the data you've been given and put it into the equation of delta H equals mc delta T. And that will get you the specific enthalpy change for this reaction and um, for the amount of hydrocarbon that you have used. Um, so remember that mass, um, M, must be the mass of water used, and that's 200 grams, times by your specific heat capacity, which is 4.2, um, times by your delta T, which is your temperature change, which in this case is 28.2. Put that into your calculator, and you get 23,688 and that will be in the units of joules. Now at this stage, what we would usually do is work out the number of moles of the hydrocarbon that we have, of the fuel, and we would divide by that number to get the um, enthalpy change in kilojoules per mole. But this time, we don't know the RFM, but we have got a different um, piece of information, and that is the standard enthalpy change. Um, so what we would normally do is do delta H, the standard enthalpy change, is equal to the enthalpy change that we just worked out in the previous question, or the previous part of the question, and divided by the number of moles of our fuel. So usually we know this from the first part of the calculation, and we know this um, from the mass in RFM of our fuel. Um, but this time we don't know this, but we do know this. So first of all, I can work out how many moles of my hydrocarbon I have and then use that to work out the RFM. So first of all, what I'm going to need to do is um, this is going to be, um, and you can see in the question, that's in kilojoules per mole. Right now, this is in joules, so I need to convert it to kilojoules so that the units are consistent throughout that equation. So if I change my first answer to kilojoules, it's going to be 23.688, just divide by 1,000. Then put that into your equation. Um, so the standard enthalpy change is minus 2,220 is equal to the enthalpy change for the amount that I have, which I worked out as 23.688. And realistically, that's going to be minus as well, um, because it's going to be exothermic, just so that our signs cancel out. Um, and that is over the number of moles that we have. So rearrange that equation. The number of moles is going to be minus 23.688 over minus 2,220, which is 0 0.01067. Okay, and then we are told that our mass is 0 0.47. And so we can use our equation of N equals mass over RFM. If we rearrange that, we get RFM is mass over N. Our mass is 0 0.47. Our number of moles is 0 0.01067 and that works out as 44 so the answer is B.